Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and it is time to talk once again about Pat McGrath and her glorious palettes. Now I promised you in my overview video where I did like a full swatch fest and comparisons and all, all the rundown of my Pat McGrath collection where I have all six, well she's added more now. So I have the first six 10 pan mothership eyeshadow palettes. Apparently there's a seventh one that was released on the Selfridges app only so it wasn't on the actual website it was just on the app that's an international website but they shipped to the USA and then it's coming to the Pat McGrath website because she made an announcement like shh it's this top secret thing it's like a whole thing and I ain't got time for that and then I have the six abbreviated six pan eyeshadow palettes so there were three that were released originally to correlate with the first three mothership 10 pan eyeshadow palettes and then there were three more limited edition six pan eyeshadow palettes that were released for holiday last year that also correlate to the original three mothership 10 pan eyeshadow palettes that were released and there's listen there's a lot going on all I know is I spent a whole lot of money and I actually have 12 of the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes and and I am going to rank them for you guys as I promised because why not now the original idea for ranking your eyeshadow palettes or ranking products in your collection came from Kelsey Brianna J who is Bay. check her out here I will leave her channel linked and you should also check her out I'll link her down below so you can check her out and all that stuff but she was the first one that I saw ranking her Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes and she's done other ranking videos since then I think she also also ranked her Natasha then not gonna get my money honey palettes and I've seen other people since then doing ranking videos they aren't crediting my girl though and I think she was the originator because she was the first one I saw doing it and then everybody kind of started just jumping on the bandwagon but that's what we're gonna do today we're going to rank or Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes now here's what I'm gonna do because I've already spoken long enough and I am long-winded and I can go on and on and I'm not gonna discriminate and like separate my 10 pan eyeshadow palettes from my 6 pan eyeshadow palettes we're gonna co-mingle here we're gonna just intersperse them all because I don't believe in segregation and one is not better than the other just because they have 10 and this one over here has 6 no it doesn't matter to me my love can be spread around no matter what and there are certain textures that I favor and of course the color stories whatever appeals to me is what I'm gonna rank spectra and lipstick alley did not march for us to be over here separating our makeup okay so we're not gonna do that here and we're gonna flip it pop it and reverse it because I don't really like to follow the trend and follow rules or anything so we're gonna start out with number one because you know what I like to start out with creme de la creme I like to have the best first because why not I mean why am I gonna start from the bottom and go to the top let's go straight to the top so we're gonna start out with number one what do you think my first pick is what do you think my number one palette is you saw my swatch video did you see it I'm gonna link it here and I'm gonna link it down there as well so you can check it out I did all the swatches so out of those 12 what do you think is my number one it don't make no sense because you can't even see what this is but it is the decadence palette this is mothership number four the ultimate beautiful metallic gorgeous palette from holiday 20 I want to say it's 2017 this is such a beauty there are no special shades in here and there are no mattes this is a fully metallic palette and I love it so much all these rich smoky shades oh it takes the cake okay I love this palette so much and I hate that this was limited edition so you can't get your hands on it anymore there was like a glitch where this was re-released like briefly on Sephora recently and it was a whole thing so I really think Pat McGrath we need a petition Pat McGrath Auntie Pat needs to re-release this make it permanent y'all need to be out here holding back Auntie Pat what's going on like release this palette release it oh my god so decadence beautiful rich tones jewel tones I love this and I do have to incorporate this with other shades in my collection of course I need matte shades I need a highlight shade. these are this is a companion palette all right these are all shimmers of course I'm gonna need something else to pair this with but these shadows are so buttery so rich so decadent like decadence is the perfect name for this absolutely love it my number 
one palette. Love this thing. Number two. What do you think number two is, guys? It's the one that I talked a lot of mess about. Because I was like, anti-haul, I ain't getting this, no way, no how, it's too much, I ain't want it. And then I got it anyway. It's the number five, Bronze Seduction. <sighs> I mean, I'm eating my words, okay? If I could cook crow, if I could get it at the supermarket, I'd be eating it right now like Wendy Williams. But I, you know, I'm not going to do that because my digestive tract and stuff. But this, look, look, look. The hype is real for this one. When people say this is their favorite, I, I see it. I know where you're coming from. I, I, I feel you, sis. This is gorgeous. Now, this guy does have special shades in it. This guy does have mattes. I love these rich mattes. They're like so deep and pigmented. This, um, I think this is Extreme Aubergine, if I'm not incorrect. This is such a rich, dark eggplant shade. Like This makes a beautiful all over smoky eye because it's almost black. It's like this rich eggplant color. Gorgeous. This brown. The, oh my god. These are so beautiful. You have this really beautiful bronzy brown shade. Sexy. These toppers. Oh my god. And then this red. I'm not even like a red eyeshadow person, but this red could get it, okay? It could get it. It's a sexy iodine red. Love this palette. Now, are you ready for number three? Because number three is going to take you probably by surprise. Because number three is the subliminal dark star palette oh my god so this goes with the mothership subliminal palette which i believe is number one so the one with the blue eyeshadow in it and this oh my god it's so pretty okay i love this duochrome blue purple shade gorgeous this gold here is like a yellow gold but it's like a muted yellow gold which i can get into and then this beautiful like i don't know it's like a golden champagne sexy it has a sooty matte dark gray hello and this deep like oh uh, this is sexy and then we have this satin black it's not a matte black because she has matte blacks all over the place no this is satin and this is sexy and just creamy and rich I love this palette because I feel like Pat McGrath is either you're going to go neutral or you're going to go sultry and sexy. And I think this palette, girl, I love this. I love this one. So that's number three. Then number four. You ready for another surprise? It's the Sublime Bronze Temptation Eyeshadow Palette. Another one of the holiday palettes. <sighs> These shades are so gorgeous. So what I really love from Pat McGrath, or not the special shades, everybody's like, oh my god, you love the special shades, they're so great. I could care less about the special shades. They're cute, they're cute, but her metallics, her foils, are where she gets me, okay? Her mattes, oh my god, if she does an all matte palette, I'm done. Just sign me up, I'm spending $350. I don't care, I'm getting two. Now I'm not really getting two, but you know, the thought is there, and sometimes, you know, that counts for a lot and i really want to buy it full price i like need a discount like a sale price but anyway that's not the point look at this these two shades like this red one here and then this um bronzy shade these are dual chromes so they have like this special shift to them that makes them so unique and so sexy and so pretty love those the two mattes sexy this green i don't even love greens like this but this is like the ultimate christmas palette like Oh, and I just love that there's special shades in here that aren't the crystal shades. Like, they're special because they're dual chrome and frosty and pretty and just pigmented and just take my breath away, but they're not crystal shades. So, love, love, love that. I have a list, guys. Like, I printed this out because I was about that life, okay? I was like, all right, rearrange. Which one do we love? Which one do we hate? All right, number five. That is going to be another 10 pan palette. And can you guess? It's Mothership 3, Subversive. <sighs> okay, I was struggling with this one, all right? Because I don't really love pinks and purples and stuff. But this one is just so sexy. It's pretty and I, it, it just does things to my soul when I look at it. I'm like, you have to be up there with them. Like, you can't be out here in the streets at the bottom. You got to be up, you know, up top. These shades are gorgeous. What I love is that there's only one crystal shade, which is, I think this is Astral Ghost, 
pink orchid. I don't know. I don't, I'm not here memorizing the names, but these just work. This green, this greeny gold, it's like an old gold. It comes off like an olive gold, like a greeny gold. It's so pretty. So it's not like a yellow gold, which I don't really get along with yellow golds. They're not my go-to. This one just works. It's so beautiful. Then this duochrome greeny purple, I could play with that. And then this one is more like a purpley pink, gorgeous. And even this purple, I don't mess with purples and berries and the, those kinds of mauve shades, but this purple could get it because it's like, I don't know, like this purple works for me. It works because it has this depth to it that just, it, I just love it. And then the mattes are beautiful, but I do have to pull in like pairing palettes with this because these two mattes are really dark. So I'm just gonna get a full on smoky look with this, a sexy sultry look, but I can rock with that. Like I really love that look, so. Number three, subversive, is number five. Now number six, I didn't think I would say this. I didn't think it would come out my face to say this, but number six, guess it, guess it. Are you ready? Number six is Mothership Six Midnight Sun. Now this guy, this is the last palette I got. This is the one where I ended my collection because I am not getting the holiday quads, so don't even ask. Not getting them, don't care. Not getting like the mini palettes either. And I'm also not interested in number seven. Don't, do not do it to me. So this ends my collection of Pat McGrath, for now. I shouldn't even say that because for now, because if she comes out with eight and eight is out here popping, I might get it. However, number six, didn't want it, wasn't interested in the color story, was just like, whatever. I literally got it to finish up the video that I was doing for you guys. I needed to get the video done and this just rounded out the collection, but honestly, this was not like on my radar. I didn't want it because the color story, it just doesn't appeal to me because the green and the purple. I don't do shades like this. I don't care about shades like this. But let me tell you something, all right? This bronzy special shade, it's like a copper bronze, shut your face, so, so pretty. Then this neutral quad right there, excuse me, beautiful. It's not a black, it's like a black and brown, so that quad, beautiful wearable look. This green isn't even that bad, it's like an olivey green, so I can rock with it. This red, like red brown, sexy as well. And even the purple I can kind of rock with. Like, I'm not mad at the purple. So even though I don't love these two shades, the other shades just offset the rest of the palette that make it pretty and sexy. I actually got a new one because the one that I got initially was kind of faulty. So I ended up getting a new one and swapping it out for, like, the shades were more creamy here. Because in the original one that I got, they were a little dry. I had to, like, really dig at them. But these now are much better. They come off a lot better when you swatch them and when you use them. So this is why this kind of looks untouched. But this is my number six palette. And it happens to be Mothership number six, Midnight Sun. Now number seven is a little bit tricky because I wasn't sure where to go with it. But I made up my mind. I made my decision. It's Mothership number two, Sublime. Now this is one of the original three Mothership palettes and it was not like the one that my eye went to initially because of this green. It's almost like my eyes go, oh it has a purple, oh it has a green, we're done here. But I wrote it off without really looking into the color scheme and once I was ranking these, I'm like, these colors are gorgeous. This duochrome, it looks pinky, uh, Bamba cloth Ross. Y'all saw that? Two eyeshadows, two freaking eyeshadows fell all the way out. I am so pissed off right now. But this is what I mean about the quality. When I spoke about it in my review video, I spoke about how these aren't glued in. Look there. Look at this. What a heap of embarrassment. And no, for $125. No, no me for glue this. But anyway. Let's try to just balance it here. I like the special shades in this palette because when I looked at the green, if you tilt it, you can see that it's a little bit purple, but it is more like a, almost like a beetle color where it shifts green purple. So I love that. And then like I said, with this dual chromey, pinky, coppery gold, this is beautiful. 
and then it also has this more metallic coppery yellow gold also beautiful so this palette ranks at number seven even though i feel like i want to rank it lower now that those two eyeshadows fall because i am big mad right now but we gonna glue it up we gonna glue it up with some gorilla crazy glue who was that did y'all feel that in your spirit when that happened y'all were praying for me y'all were probably like oh jesus lord tina save the day because lord have mercy now number eight where are we going with this we are going back to one of the six pan eyeshadow palettes we are going to mothership subliminal platinum bronze this guy is a very neutral palette it is more on the cooler tone side and i love this as an everyday palette it has beautiful just everyday neutral shadows these are easy frosty metallics they're not overly shimmery they're not glittery there are no special shades it's just an everyday easy palette and i love it for that there's not much to say about this palette it ranks at number eight because it's an easy palette and the formulation and the shades just work for me for an everyday look so i don't have to worry or question too much what i'm doing with that palette i just throw it on the eyes number nine is the last one of the holiday limited edition six pan palette this one is mothership subversive metamorphosis and it has some repeat shades from decadence so these two shades are from the decadence palette but it includes some other beautiful metallics like this rng copper bronze i know there are a lot of copper bronze in this in this lineup like who are we fooling but it has like beautiful metallic shades that just work beautifully. And then it has this smoky, sooty, dark purple. It's so creamy. It makes an amazing smoky eye. And I don't even love purples, but in a smoky eye, that purple works beautifully. And I like this palette, but it ranks at number nine, not because I'm like, oh my God, I love it so much. It just ranks at number nine because there are others that just... Don't tickle my fancy and fall beneath it. All right, number 10. We're getting down to the wire, so can you guys guess what's up next? I don't know. Can you? Number 10 is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition Palette. It's just an easy, everyday palette. It's bronzy. It's more on the warm tone side. It has, like, orange, this orangey tone matte brown. It has, like, easy, simple metallics. You just toss these on the eyes smoke out the outer v you're good to go this can give you that one shade all over the lid kind of look it's a simple simple easy palette very everyday friendly so that's why that ranks at number 10. now the other two palettes they rank really low because i don't care for the color story and one of them i just don't care for the formulation it's the worst formulated one that she made in my eyes like i just didn't like it at all so this one is gonna come as a surprise to you guys because if you know me you know i love a certain color and the fact that this one has that color but it's ranking at second to last like come on right this is mothership one subliminal that blue shade that blue shade though it's sexy but it's almost like the only color in this palette I give a damn about. The other special shades are cute. Like, they're okay. And this one actually has three mattes versus just two. But I don't care about this purple. It's whatever. This other purple, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's really pretty. But I don't care. This gold is just too gold. And then the mattes are just blah for me it's a gray tone like a um, more cool tone palette and i don't know i just don't it doesn't excite me it doesn't make me want to use it even with the blue shade in it like with the blue i want to use it with a different palette i don't want to use it with anything else in this palette i just want to use it on its own so it's almost like i should have just gotten that as a single and then i could ride out because the rest of the palette I don't care about there are probably just two shades in here that I really like and it's the blue and then the special shade other than that like you can miss me with this palette to be honest I'm it just hurts me because it has that beautiful blue in it now the one that is dead last on my list the one I don't like I really could do without like if I had tried this and didn't want to be a collector I would have just returned this and just said whatever I don't care 
That is the mother shoe. You know what it is. You know what it is. I don't have to tell you, right? Subversive La Vienne Rose. I know. I know. First of all, pink, purple, and mauve. Already don't care. Really don't care about this palette. But this pink shade, the formulation is so bad. It's so bad. I don't like it at all. The purple is the only saving grace in this palette. Beautiful purple. Sexy purple. But I think this is available as a single. So you ain't even need this whole palette for that purple. And if I'd known that, I would have just gotten that purple. But honestly, I would have probably still gotten it to do my video. But that's not the point. Alright? The point is, I don't like this palette. This pink for Dashway. This mauve shade. This matte hair. Is so, so. And then the other shades, they're through. I don't care. I don't care this palette is whatever for me so that is the last one ranks number 12 I don't care don't love it don't care about it I whatever that is the final final one on my list so there you go those are my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes mothership 10 pan eyeshadow palettes and the abbreviated six pan eyeshadow palettes all ranked from number one down to 12 based on my taste. So this is just me, what I prefer color-wise and formula-wise. That's just how I would rank mine. And I know everybody has like different tastes and they're gonna rank their palettes differently. So what do you think? Do you agree with any of my ranking? Like, how do you rank your eyeshadow palettes? Do you have some of them? Based on what you have, how do you rank them? Tell me. Or if you don't even have these, based on the color stories, like what would you want to have in like, give me your top three. How about that? So let's not make it like a long thing. Let's just make it top three. Top three, what would you get? Let me know. I will go ahead and leave links to where you can pick these up, which is Sephora and the Pat McGrath website. I would say wait for a sale to get any of these because that $125 for one palette and now $65 for the six pan ones or for the quads the new quads oh my god what no absolutely not so wait for a sale for those there's always a coupon going around on the pat mcgrath website for some reason i don't know what's going on with her but yeah wait for a sale i'll also go ahead and link um instagram twitter and snapchat you know stuff so you can follow me along on social media where we have some fun and then yeah until my uh, am i gonna film i think i'm gonna film something else right now until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys